We are uh, here at the Norman P. Murray Community Center in, in the fabulous uh, Mission Viejo, California. And uh, in front of a very enthusiastic crowd, thank you very much. You know, is this our biggest crowd yet? It, it is, but Peter definitely is the, he is the record holder now, which is going to tick off Dave Kaz. <laughs> so, and, and boy, you don't want to see that. It gets ugly when Dave is mad, so we'll, we'll have to find out what happens. But uh, please uh, say hello to everybody to uh, our, our good friend here, Nick Jordan, and his fake Irish accent. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> It's not fake. It's not fake. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very suspicious. But, he's a, he's uh, a boy from Ireland. <laughs> is that? Oh, uh, you do, do you? <laughs> Nick is uh, with Wells of yes. Life. You you can see these pictures of these uh, these sweet faces. Tell us what you guys are doing, Nick. Yeah. How did Wells of Life start? I mean, why are you doing this? Well, Wells of Life started in Africa. Funnily enough, uh, it happened in Uganda in 2008. I was there uh, taking a trip to visit some, some schools that uh, we had helped fund. And I realized that there was uh, a real shortage of water. Big surprise, I think we all know about. But how did you find that out? I mean. Oh, great question, Kelly. Uh, by going to the schools, there were more boys than girls. Oh, really? And I asked the question, why are there more boys than girls? They said, well, we don't have a water well close. And the girls are actually at home hauling water Doing this. with their mothers. Wow. All day long, so they don't get schooling. They don't get schooling, and so what happens is that the cycle of poverty simply continues from mother to daughter. Mm -hmm. And we all know that education is what breaks the taproot of poverty. Mm -hmm. I was really, I was shocked and I was alarmed and realized that something had to be done about it. Okay. And so. hence, Wells of Life actually was formed in 2008 okay. in Uganda. So 2008, you started building wells. Now, how many wells have you built so far? Uh, to date, we have just dedicated our 122nd water well. Wow. That is a big deal. Wow. Right. 126 water wells. How much does it cost to get a water well out there? It costs $6 a person. And when we serve 1,000 people in a community, that uh, turns to $6,000 for one village to have clean water for we say 25 years just to simply to be able to have a number. Wow, amazing. Now lots of things are happening with Wells of Life. You've got um, Anthony Kearns, I believe, is your national spokesperson. Can we announce that or I just did? Sorry. Yes, of course. <laughs> well, he's the guy with the real Irish accent. So, <laughs> and as it happens, he also comes from the same village in Ireland as myself. And just to put it in perspective, there's actually 300 people in the village Ooh. if they were all at home. <laughs> Where would they be? So that they might be at the pub. There's a lot. <laughs> that would be my guess. In fairness, it's a bit early. Yeah, you know, I'm so, <laughs> so Words I never would have thought I'd hear from your mouth, I'll tell you that. Right. <laughs> I must tell you that Anthony Carroll oh. has one of the most beautiful voices that has ever graced the stage. Uh, his most recent uh, performance was in New York. He introduced the former mayor of New York, Michael Bloomberg at the uh, dedication of the 9-11 memorial. Mm. And on 9-11, he actually agreed to become Wells of Life's national oh, spokesperson. That right? That's wow. wonderful. That's wonderful. I think it was the biggest single uh, miracle, and I call it that, because when you have a voice that's as significant as an Irish tenor, he's not just going to talk about the cause of Wells of Life, he's going to sing about it. Yeah, yeah there you go. And so there's other things that are happening really quick. Um, other people are getting involved. People are hearing about this. Uh, what other exciting events that you have that you can announce today? You, you told me a couple on the break, and I I'm did. like, I don't know if I should say anything, but you know, the, the one with the... Right. The, the well, it's between you and me and Gary and this wonderful group of people here today. Don't tell anybody else, but Please, I have to swear to you the secrecy. secrecy. Well, we are on All Olympic right. love, so... So <laughs> in 30 seconds or less, because I know how valuable everybody's time is, first of all, Wells of Life is headquartered here right in the heart of Mission Viejo, just down the road. So it's your very own right. Mission Viejo based charity. We have a passion to reach our school children. We have a passion to reach your children and grandchildren because those are the next generation that can make a difference to the world. 
Our generation has kind of messed it up a little bit. I think you might agree. <laughs> but our children are excited to bring clean water to villages. And so we go to schools and we ask them, are you interested in saving one life? And we help them by joining schools to families to corporations to fund wells. Right. Now, a couple of the secrets that I am going to tell you is that we love our veterans in this country. They are the greatest mm -hmm. defenders of our liberty, and they're our heroes. Mm -hmm. In 2015, and this has not been announced yet, so I brought it just for you, we are going to dedicate several water wells to our veterans and to honor them for the service that they have given to America. And that will be the greatest living memorial Absolutely. that we can ever offer anybody. To bring Thank you. So a water well becomes something very special. Um, I can share with you that I actually grew up in a farmhouse in Ireland that had no running water. And so I would help my mother go to a well and carry water. So at a very early age, I knew that this was a strain and a struggle. So when you see women here carrying 40 pounds of water on their head. Every day. Every day, ladies, for three miles. Oh, God. I promise you, <laughs> that is not something that either Kelly Bennett, myself, or our good friend Gary here could do. If you really want a challenge, go out after this show ends and try carrying 40 pounds on your head. So we are freeing women and their daughters from the scourge and the slavery yeah. of poverty through lack of water. So, you know, $6,000 for a well really doesn't seem like a lot no, of money. Uh, much money at all. Uh, Thank it's you, just Gary. Crazy. Thank you. The check can come, you know, after. <laughs> <laughs> so the I reason, the reason that it's $6,000 yeah. is uh, that we do not touch one cent of your donation. We raise our overhead independently from private donors and supporters that we've had for, wow. this is my ninth year of raising funds for schools and for water wells. So what's really special is that we take care of your money, you know exactly where it goes. And then what gets even more exciting is that when you dedicate a well, let's say the Kelly and Gary breakfast, breakfast with, Gary with. And Kelly. yes, well, we dedicate a plaque that goes on that well. We send you the photographs that show children enjoying the water, and we also give you the GPS coordinates so you can actually look from Google Earth and see your water well. Oh, How wow. cool is that? Yes. Oh, cool. that six thousand dollars is is in finding water is that an issue at all or i mean or do is you there enough I mean, water in yeah. and after? well that's a terrific question gary as usual i was there for one all, actually I water was. exists oftentimes less than 50 feet under the ground where children die every day for oh lack God, of it really? the water is there we simply need to harness the will to bring that water to the surface by putting a pump in place I believe the will is there as long as we tell the story enough. Sure. And so by bringing clean water to the surface, whether it's 50 feet or 300 feet, it's a one-time cost. And there's really very little of it included in our hydrology. We simply already have the, the locations mapped, so we know where the water is. Okay. So, so all that, that 6000 is just for drilling it and the hardware to, to pump it up? Right. Yes, for the wow. labor, for the pipe, wow. uh, for the equipment, God, it seems and for the fuel. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, all this, hey, th this, this thing that you handed me here, the, these sweet, sweet faces, look at this. Oh, but it no. says one in five children in Africa dies from yeah. a yes. lack of clean water. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I must put it in perspective. And we always try and focus on the positive here because nobody likes to hear the negative. But the positive is that you can make a huge difference. The negative is that without your help, 4,316 right. children will die today needlessly simply because there is no lack, there is no available water. Right. And that is something that we can all do something about. Okay, so let's How cut do we to do the chase. We got yeah, an event we coming do? up, right? We do. Okay, tell us really quick what the event is. We have Anthony Cairns performing with his beautiful voice at the Mission Viejo Country Club on the 25th of October. We have a few tickets left. It will be a sellout concert. You will hear the most beautiful Irish mm. tenor. We have su several surprises for you. I would invite all of you to consider attending, and we'll make our best efforts yeah. to get you a ticket if you see Gary. Well, well yeah, we have some brochures Kelly. here. Outstanding. And, 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 and you go to regular, Wells of, yeah, Wells the, the Wells. website is wellsoflife.org, right? Correct. Okay, so if you just go to wellsoflife.org, you can get all the information. 
Um, there's no ticket information here, but yeah, the ticket and information about the event It'll be on the website, is right? on the website, right? Exactly. And my fi sorry, Kelly, to interrupt you. My final request is there are so many wonderful people here. We are looking for retired people that have some real passion left to change the world. Trust me, with Wells of Life, you can do that by volunteering, by uh, inviting me to speak. You already know that's a fake Irish accent, but I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> and so we need an opportunity to come and speak. There are so many people that can come and volunteer. I'd love four Terrific. or five retired teachers to come yeah. and join our committee. Okay. Believe you me, together we can change the world because this is a group effort. Because we're going to go around the world doing yeah. this, right? Well, with one right. billion people, yeah. we have our work cut out, but yeah. I do believe we can do it. We'll put these at the front desk, okay. so all Nick. of you who want a copy, just take it on your way out. Yeah, thanks Thank so you. much. Really, Thank you so yeah, much. great stuff. Great Good stuff. Job, really, you Gary. Appreciate Good you being job. here. The next job, right, right. well you going to love it. Outstanding stuff. Here's music from Ingrid Michelson now. We'll be back here on Breakfast with Gary and Kelly.